Hey guys, check out today's sponsor, Vever. They make these awesome wheel dollies. Check them out and we'll get right back to the video. There's a link below. It helps out the channel when you buy stuff. I get a small commission. Check them out. I should have bought two sets because they're so convenient. What's cool about these is they're black. I like the black ones. These are made by Vever. Vever, so check them out. This makes it so easy to move this thing around. I am definitely gonna order another set of those. I've got this huge crack in my garage. It's like almost an inch up here. And it went right over them, no problem. So, good quality, easy to put together. Fever, so check them out. There's a link below. Yeah, makes uh, real easy work of a tight space. Fever, so check them out. There's a link below.
Check it out. It's looking pretty good. Got this cleaned up. Basically what we're trying to do is make this lap weld go away here. And we're just kind of cleaning this up and getting this ready for filler. It's looking pretty good. We got this piece put on and kind of ended up cutting it and button it. So it looks, that turned out really nice. I'm really happy with that. And we got a little cleanup on the back side to do, but it's looking pretty good. That's all, this is all factory right here, all the way to right here. So we just need to add a little piece right here, tiny little piece, and we'll clean that up. And but this is where we cut it and added in the new piece to the existing piece and it came out real smooth. I'm gonna put a little filler over that. And honestly, this gets covered up by the fender, but I want to practice my filler using the filler and kind of practice making this stuff disappear. So it's not necessary to make this disappear, but let's go ahead and play around with the filler a little bit, put some on here and see if we can blend in these lines. This was a lap weld. That's why it's so kind of messy. And this was a butt weld. So this is gonna be seen from the outside of the car, but from here over gets covered with the fender. So none of this gets seen. That's why I did a lap weld here and a butt weld there. But let's see if we can clean it up a little bit with some filler. Make that disappear. Let's do it. All right, before we put the filler on, I'm just gonna go up a little higher with some 80 grit. Clean this up just a little bit more with some 80 grit, but we're pretty much there.
set up already. Well, I put too much hardener in it. Hmm.
All right, guys, it's, uh, this is a very difficult, I don't think normally you would put filler in a spot like this. Um, you know, most of the time you're putting filler on flat surfaces or slightly curved surfaces on the outer shell. This is a, kind of a weird concave, different shapes going on. I don't think this is something you'd normally do, so it's it's difficult to get in here with a flat sander. So I got the DA in here and I just kind of knocked it down a bit, little bit. I'm gonna do that again and then that's it. I'm just gonna leave it however it is. I think it'll it's effective enough to kind of help make that line disappear. It might not completely disappear, but by the time we put you know a couple, two, three coats of primer on there and the base coat and whatever patina stuff we're gonna do here, it'll disappear, so I'm not worried about it. This cleaned up nice. This only needed a tiny little bit. I'll probably have to hit this a little bit more. Uh, this I'm not really worried about. Again, this is where the fender goes. So you're really only gonna see this spot right here. The fender goes all the way around there. So this gets all, all this gets covered up with the fender. The only spot you're gonna see is this little triangle piece of slice of pizza right here. So we'll clean this up. This is where we seamed it together. And this is gonna get patinaed to try to match this the best we can at some point. And all this is a whole nother project, getting all this cleaned up and, and ready and some other areas that need to be cleaned up. But I'm gonna knock this down again. I might even put a little primer on it temporarily just to see what it looks like. Uh, this isn't the primer I'm going to use, but I can always knock this back off and, but it'll protect it for now and give us an idea of how crappy of a job I did. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this dry and we'll knock it down with the DA a little bit more and uh, cover it with some primer, see what it looks like. Also, I didn't use any um, guide coat. There was no reason to spray guide coat in here. Once I once I put the first layer of filler on here, I realized, you know, this this is not a typical area that you would fill or a shape. This is just a weird kind of a shape. It's it's not something you, normally you just want to try to get this as the you know, the the metal finish as good as you can here uh, on a high end restoration, but for something like this it doesn't matter. Yeah, so. I'm not gonna put this on yet, but I'm just shaking it up. Letting this dry. 
The other problem I think I'm having is these uh, blocks are real stiff and hard. I think this is an area where you would need a real flexible, thin block. So it kind of takes the shape of this and you just kind of ease into it. You know what I'm saying? Like this isn't something that has to be perfectly flat or square, it's concave. So you almost need a real thin block and you could probably just make one out of something. Uh, Lay, that's laying around here. This one's thinner, but it's still pretty rigid. Um, needs something very pliable and, and flexible to kind of get in here and just knock the knock it down uh, to where it's as level as you can get it. <clears throat> not real critical. This area is not real critical at all. Not for this one. We'll let this dry and we'll uh, knock this down. All right, guys, check it out. It's pretty good. You can still see it, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. And uh, we could come in here and we could put a little more there. We could try to knock that down some more, that seam. But honestly, I think that does what I was wanting it to do it was really just kind of make it a little less obvious if you know if you were to stick your head under here but we're going to put several coats of primer on this there's going to be coat of base um, and there'll be some more sanding and stuff going on during that time so maybe we'll clean it up a little bit more and then we're going to replicate this patina so that's going to that, that's just going to disappear um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Primer, got a little wild with the primer here. This looks pretty good. I think we need to uh, do a little more work right here, but again, 
We're going to replicate the patina right here. I don't think it matters. I think it's fine. Bumper is going to go here. It's going to cover all this. Honestly, guys, I think that's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to do some similar stuff here. Get this cleaned up. And obviously on the areas like the quarter, if you saw that video, we spent a lot more time getting this just right. And it's really good. But also, again, the surface is flat, just slightly curved. And this is your typical kind of situation you'd be working on, working with, with primer, is a somewhat flat or slightly curved panel. You know what I'm saying? All these areas would be a lot easier to, to block. That's a very difficult area to block. It's not really meant for that. So I think the way I did it with the DA is perfect. I think that came out the way I wanted it to and uh, it's looking good. So we're gonna continue doing a bunch of work like that around the car. Probably not gonna film a bunch of it. Maybe I'll film a few seconds of this and that and just kind of put it all together in one video. But really that's probably it as far as the major metal work goes. Um, Hopefully the next video is going to be, maybe it'll be a little bit of that sanding and primer, painting the primer, putting the windows in and putting this baby back on the chassis. That would be awesome. Still some work to do. We still got to fix the bottom of the doors, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. I want to get this thing all put back together, put it on the chassis. We can always take the doors back off at some point and fix them. It's not a big deal. The big deal for me is because this is a patina ride, and the chassis is 100% complete. I wanna get this thing back on the road and have some fun with it so we can move on to some other projects. The Gia, this is gonna be a complete restoration with full paint and everything. So this will be a long-term project, but we, we're gonna do some videos on it um, for sure. And if my brother wants to get back on that truck, we'll do some work on that, uh, on the 58 Dodge. We'll do some work on the Gia get this thing on the road, have some fun with it. And who knows, maybe there's a, another project on the way. We'll see. <laughs> there could be a few more. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Later.